So far, we've discussed the situation of adsorption of one molecule onto one site on a catalytic surface. If we have multiple molecules that compute for the same sites on the catalyst, we can describe their competitive adsorption using the same approach. So let's say we have two molecules, A and B, adsorbing on the same types of sites on the catalyst. At equilibrium, we can write that the rate of adsorption of A, so the adsorption rate constant of A times its pressure times the concentration of vacant sites is equal to the rate of desorption, so that's the desorption rate constant times the concentration of adsorbed A. We can solve this expression for the concentration of adsorbed A. So this is going to be the adsorption rate constant over the desorption rate constant times the partial pressure of A times our concentration of vacant sites. So this term we can identify as the equilibrium constant for adsorption of A. So we can write times the partial pressure of A times the concentration of vacant sites. So we can set up a similar expression for our concentration of adsorbed B. So the concentration of adsorbed B is just going to be the equilibrium constant for adsorption of B times its partial pressure times the concentration of free sites. So we can write a site balance. So our total number of sites, which we'll denote L, is equal to how many are vacant plus how many are covered by A plus how many are covered by B. So we can replace our expressions for adsorbed A and adsorbed B uh, from these two expressions here. So we'll get an expression for our total site balance, uh, all in terms of concentrations of vacant sites. So what this will look like will be star plus Ka Pa times the concentration of free sites plus Kb Pb times the concentration of free sites. Now we can factor this concentration of free sites out So now if we're interested in describing the coverage of A, which is the concentration of adsorbed A over the total number of sites. So now we have expressions for the concentration of A here, again, in terms of the fraction of vacant sites. And we have an uh, expression for our total number of sites in terms of the concentration of vacant sites. So we can plug these expressions in, so our numerator will be just Ka, Pa times the concentration of free sites. Our denominator will be one plus Ka, Pa plus Kb, Pb, all times the concentration of free sites. So those two will cancel out in the numerator and denominator. So our isotherm for uh, that describes the coverage of A will be the equilibrium constant for adsorption of A times its partial pressure divided by sort of our site balance here. So this will be the total number of sites. So that will depend on one, essentially the number of free sites, the number of sites um, covered by A, and the number of sites covered by B. So we can write a similar expression for the coverage of B. So this will simply be, only thing that'll change here is the numerator. So this will be dependent on the equilibrium constant for adsorption of B times its partial pressure. And we'll have the same denominator as we did for the coverage of A. So these are our adsorption isotherms for competitive adsorption of two molecules A and B. We'll also encounter situations where one molecule adsorbs dissociatively over two surface sites. So if we have a molecule A2 can adsorb over 
two vacant sites to form two adsorbed A atoms. So this could be the case if we had, for example, adsorption of hydrogen to form two hydrogen atoms adsorbed on the catalyst surface. It could happen for O2, N2, uh, or potentially for molecules like carbon monoxide, CO. So you could uh, dissociate that carbon monoxide into carbon and oxygen. So once again, we can come up with an uh, isotherm here by writing the forward and reverse rates at equilibrium to say that the rate of adsorption is equal to the rate of desorption. So here our rate of adsorption is gonna depend on an adsorption rate constant times the partial pressure of A2 times the free site concentration, but here that's gonna be squared uh, since we need two sites to dissociate that A2. Our desorption rate is gonna be dependent on a desorption rate constant and the concentration of adsorbed A squared. Okay, so solving for the concentration of adsorbed A here, you can write concentration of adsorbed A squared is equal to the adsorption rate constant over the desorption rate constant, which again is the equilibrium constant for adsorption, times the pressure of A2 times the free site concentration squared. So we can write the concentration of A adsorbed as the equilibrium constant for adsorption to the one half power times the pressure of A2 to the one half times the free site coverage. Our site balance here just says that our total number of sites is equal to how many we have that are vacant plus how many of those have A adsorbed. And so we here we can write our adsorption isotherm as the concentration of adsorbed A over our total number of sites. And so that's just gonna be the equilibrium constant for adsorption to the one half times the pressure of A2 to the one half over essentially our site balance, our total number of sites, so that'll be the vacant site coverage plus the coverage of A. So this is our isotherm that describes the coverage of A if we have dissociative adsorption of A2. And note from this expression how much higher pressures are needed to reach saturation as coverage now trends with pressure to the one half versus when we have uh, monomolecular adsorption onto one site. So now we've developed quantitative expressions that describe coverage as a function of equilibrium constants and partial pressures for the cases of dissociative adsorption and competitive adsorption.